In this video, we're going to consider a feasible flow. And what that means is a flow that can actually work and exist through the network. Now, there are a couple of things to take note of. Firstly, an arc cannot exceed its capacity. So, for example, I can't have a flow going from S to A of 25 because the capacity is 20. This network shows the capacities of a network that we're going to be working with. Okay. Also, you can't have the flow in not being the same as the flow out. So the flow into a node has got to be exactly the same as the flow going out of the node Okay, when we're doing the feasible flow. Now, you might look at this and go, well, Jack, you've got 20 going into A and 5 and 20 coming out. But this isn't showing a flow through the network. This is showing the capacities of the arcs. Okay, So in the feasible flow, I can't have 20 going in and 25 coming out. I can't have that happen. Um, but this is not showing a flow, just to be clear. Okay, sometimes you might see um, um, different exam boards and different textbooks uh, might have the, uh, the uh, capacities circled and the feasible flow shown just dot, uh, written on the edges, uh, without, with, not within the circles. Okay, there, there are different ways of doing this. I've opted for just showing it as a different network. OK, so um, let's try and build a feasible flow, a flow that works through this network. OK, so let's try this out. So when I'm doing this, I'm just doing this off the top of my head. OK, so uh, there's no kind of real plan of this. So let's say uh, I put a flow of 10 going from S to B. Now, because the flow from S to B is the same as its capacity. We refer to SB as being saturated. So SB is saturated. OK. OK, so let's uh, add a few more in. OK, so let's say if I've got five coming from A to B, then I'm going to have to have 15 coming out. OK, so I could have uh, 10 going along there and 5 going along there, for example. OK, so the moment I've got 5 coming out of A, so uh, let's say um, I have 10 going from S to A. That's perfectly fine because it's got a capacity of 20. Um, but if 10 is going in there, 5 is coming out, then I've got to have 5 going along AC. OK, um, let's say um, as I've got five going into C, um, I could have uh, none going through CD um, and five going through CT. So five and zero coming into D, then five's got to be coming out. OK, so this represents a feasible flow through the network. Now, some of the arcs are saturated. SB is saturated, for example. AB is also saturated, but SA isn't. Uh, what else could we ask? Well, we could ask things like, what is the flow um, along SACT? What is the flow along SACT? Well, because you've got 10, 5, and 5, when you're talking about the flow through that part of the network, you've just got to go for the smallest of the values, 5, because only 5 can flow along that route. OK? When we talk about the maximum flow through that, OK, what's the maximum possible flow that could go through SACT? Well, it would be 10, OK, because 10 is the smallest of the three edges that you've got there, 20, 20, 10. You can't pump more than 10 through that route, OK, even though parts of it allow for more. 
Um, so you might then be going, well, OK, well, is that the best we can do? Can we improve upon it? OK, well, there are two ways uh, that I know of. Uh, well, I guess there's a third way of just like coming across it and doing it by trial and error. OK, but let's discount that. Um, can we improve upon this? Can we do a better job? Well, there is an algorithm uh, that allows you to improve upon this, and that's known as the flow augmentation algorithm. Uh, we don't do that uh, on the OCR MEI Modeling with Algorithms course, so I won't be going through that. Um, but there is an algorithm that allows you to uh, find the maximum flow. Um, the alternative to that is considering uh, cuts, uh, which is what we're going to be getting onto in a couple of videos' time. Okay, um, and that will allow you to find uh, the maximum flow through the network by considering cuts through the network. Okay, um, and we'll be seeing how that's done in a little bit, uh, in a little bit of time.